What's up guys, it's Instinct here, and today I'll be showing you guys how to use Nitro Blast in Cinema 4D. Now if you guys don't have Nitro Blast, I'll leave a link in the description on how you guys can get Nitro Blast. With all that being said, let's jump right into this video. Alright, so first thing you want to do is open up Cinema 4D. Now, once you have Cinema 4D open, you can really use this on anything. So, for example, I'm just going to be using text for this example. And I'll go ahead and put this to the middle. And then, I'm not going to really mess with it too much. I'm just going to change the font because this is an ugly font. Uh, just use Blow Brush as always. Alright, so, basically, like I said, I'm not going to really be messing around with all the the settings but just go ahead and get whatever your extrude is your object here and go ahead and go to plugins and go to nitro blast and go to nitro blast main from here go ahead and just choose your amount of pieces you want so basically it will break it it will break your object up into many pieces you can choose how many pieces you want so i'm going to do 50 and then you can change the quality i'm just going to leave it on medium for this example go ahead and click fracture It'll take a few seconds to fracture, so once it is done fracturing, you should see that this text layer now has this plus button on it. Now, once you have this plus button, you can open this up and see all the uh, these blue and uh, yellow materials here. So, now what you want to do is put a material on them. So, for example, I'm just going to be using uh, this moon rock material that is in my absolute mayhem pack so if you guys want this material you guys can purchase it i'll leave a link in the description on how you guys can get that as well and you can also place the other material so just replace all these materials and by the way make sure the arrow is pointing down when you do that just like that now once you have all the materials replaced go ahead and select them all just click the bottom one click the top left one and it'll select them all Go ahead and check seamless. It should already be on cubic, so make sure it's on cubic and seamless. From here, what you guys can do is, if you are using text, you want to drag these out of the text, so just select all these, and make sure the arrow is pointing to the left like that. And then you can delete this text, you don't really need it anymore. Now, once you have these Nitro Blast layers, what you want to do is create a fracture layer. To do that, go to MoGraph, and go to fracture now once you have your fracture layer here go ahead and click the pause button keep clicking it until you get down to the pieces click the top one scroll down hold shift click the bottom one this will select all the pieces and you want to drag it into the fracture layer here and um, basically just keep doing this with all the uh, layers you have here so again hold shift and then make sure the arrow is pointing down when you drag it into fracture and I'm just gonna do this a couple more times. So once all the uh, Nitro Blast layers are in pieces are in the fracture folder, go ahead and click on it, make sure you are selected on the layer, go to MoGraph and go to Effector and click Random, and it will explode. And now you have this exploding effect. Now drag the, the strength down to like 10%, 5% maybe, and click this button and it will start to render. Alright guys, so it is done rendering, and as you can see, you have this explosion effect. Now everything is cracked and everything. Now, something cool about this to know is that you can take this random and you can put the strength to like 100, actually more than 100. You guys can put this to like 300 and get like a really, so you can basically take anything and then kind of have an explosion effect here. And what I like to do sometimes is have the text lower like that and then do the uh, same thing with the landscape and um, I'm obviously not going to do it but you can basically do the same thing with a landscape except put the uh, the landscape to like 300 500% and it'll like explode everywhere so so that is pretty much it guys that is how to use Nigel Blast if you guys like this tutorial please make sure to drop a like comment and subscribe hit that notification bell and I'll see you guys tomorrow with my next video guys peace I have been